we, I heard this thing recently about the generations of faith. Um, mm -hmm. When one person comes to faith, you know, has a transformation, mm -hmm. and then, you know, he ultimately leads, you know, his family. Right. In the next generation, in the next generation. So it, that's definitely a part of my testimony, but... Yep. You have to come to the Movie God Awards. Oh, we absolutely do. You know, and now you I'm, host and those we're Movie taking, God Awards. And we're taking less and less press in there. Yep. Places what packed an honor. with CNN and all the major press. But people every year, major people come to Christ. Yeah. And you would get a completely different perspective toward the industry than what you get uh, outside of the industry. And I think they... Uh, I think we just have to remember, and we've forgotten that the that the gospel is good news. It is. It is good news. Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't realize that I needed good news when mm -hmm. I was living with a lot of people and mm -hmm. doing a lot of drugs and doing, you know, as a left winger. Bernie Sanders should find out this story. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> I exactly. I exactly. But it was good news <laughs> because all of that was pursuing, you know, something that was chimerical. It was like pursuing yeah. a mirage. And you get close to the mirage, if you take one more drug, you're going to be, mm -hmm. feel happy. Mm -hmm. And you never get to that point. But once I found Jesus, all those answers came. Mm -hmm. it, everything cleared up. Mm -hmm. It was just incredible power of grace. Mm -hmm. If we all realize that, that what good news this is, to break the bonds of all of our addictions and, right. uh, and misperceptions and misguided uh, directions in our life is just wonderful. And you have that story. So, yeah, I do. So, I do. You know, this I is, mean, this is great. You know, we've all been through struggles in our life. Isn't it? No matter what success we've had behind those closed doors, you know, we're going to find, and that's really my story is opening up about, you know, everything that was behind the closed doors that I kept away from everybody that knew me from the church. Yeah. You know, I've often said that church should be the safest place for a broken person to go, and so often it's not. And so you understand exactly what I'm saying. Absolutely. We, we had a Put woman a who was presenting one of the awards, and she was you know, a, a body model, et cetera, uh -huh. I didn't add an actress. And she came to Christ backstage. She mm -hmm. said, I'm on a lot of drugs. You've got to help me. I'm not making it. I came to Hollywood and my life is crashing. Wow. So when you realize that these are human beings that are crashing mm -hmm. and they need the love of Jesus, that changes your whole perspective.